Hi guys, good morning. We have already had a morning. We are at Everly six month appointment. So um, unfortunately things are just a bit different. I have to go in by myself and tough out those vaccines by myself like I talked about yesterday. So we're gonna go get that done. I'm gonna see how much she's grown in the last two months. And then my infant has to go to work again today. Boo. We just got back from the doctor's office and oh my gosh, that one was a tough one. Tough. But um, I thought I would show you guys the grass. It's, I don't know if you can see it amongst the brown. It's starting to grow back in there. Nice and green. And head inside, mama. And look at my flowers. They're alive. <laughs> and they've grown a whole lot. They definitely have perked up and acclimated to the weather. I'm not exactly sure what was happening or why they were so wilty. A lot of you just suggested to keep watering them. They were super stable plants and yeah, they look really good. And I can already tell, like I said, that they've started to sprout out a few more little branches. So I'm hoping by the end of this, this whole thing is covered. These little flowers too are doing pretty well. Look at my They're growing a lot. What the heck? I know. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Well, that's for me to water a plant. Look at Emmy, look at Sissy's little, look at your cilantro, mama. Okay. And look There's at There's one, two, three, four, five, six little leaves. What the heck, Maddie? That one's These yours, These must be Maddie? two different yeah. flowers. I don't even remember what they are. They need to be watered, Maddie, though. I can tell Maddie. they're Oh, my gosh, Maddie. I see them. <laughs> Heading in, got to make these girlies some lunch. Come on. All my children, let's go. Okay. Are you having some more sweet potatoes, mama? It was torturous today. <laughs> today was torture. I deserve all the sweet potatoes. All the sweet potatoes in the world, huh, Mom? So the girls are actually being super, super helpful. They're always helpful, but today I feel like it's extra. Emmy uh, wanted to help with the squash. So what are you doing to it, Mama? I'm peeling it to where the actual actual squash part is and trying to get all the um, yellow skin off so it's easier to um, actually become baby. I don't really recall making squash. I'd have to go back and look, but I don't recall making squash or zucchini fresh for any of the other girls. So. I wasn't super sure how the skin would blend up, so I'm just, I mean, I was like, I'm gonna peel it. So I just have having Emmy peel the first layer off just so it's not as tough. Um, it probably would blend up just fine, but I wasn't really sure. So I'll see how this goes and go from there. Um, and then Everly's finishing her last little bit of sweet potatoes. Well, we have more that are in the freezer, but the last little bit I had in the fridge. I'm gonna do squash for dinner for dinner tonight <laughs> for dinner tonight, and the girls are gonna have quesadillas for lunch today. I have some guac that needs to be used up in the fridge. I had avocado toast this morning with it, but it can only go so far when I'm the only one eating it. So, um, yeah, her appointment today was brutal by myself. Brutal. Like normally, Andres with all of them, even from when Emmy was little. He's held them for me and I comfort them after. Yes, it does have flavor. Um, he holds them down for their vaccines and I mean, you know, like restrains them safely, whatever, however they have you do it. And then I comfort them and I had to do both. And I was just like, oh, I, it stinks. Like when they get older, they just need like a whole, a handhold or whatever. But when they're babies, you have to hold down their arms and it's just like, oh. so as always, we are, for vaccines if you're not your anti-vaxxers uh, whatever it whatever you do for your kiddos is totally your business I expect the same respect in return you know type of thing so I'm totally not here like you need to do this you need to do that absolutely not everybody makes their own choice for their family for their kids this is just the choice that we make and but it's still you know sad so um, anyway, uh, her visit went really well. Everything was fine. Her pediatrician, which whom we love, has seen all the girls since Emmy was since we first got her. Um, she's seen all of them. Yes. And so, anyway, we love her and totally respect what she says and everything. So she said, "Everly's doing great." And actually, she passed all of the tests. Like you know how when you see your for your well visits, they give you something to like fill out where. Is your child doing this? Is your baby doing this? 
she'd pass everything with flying colors, so I kind of feel bad for having her in PT, but she definitely does need some um, strengthening, so hopefully, you know, it'll work out. I hope we're just not, you're welcome, taking a spot away from another kid that may need it a little bit more, but she does need it. Good job. Um, I just feel like she's catching up pretty quick, so. No, that just goes in the sink. It's just a dirty dish. She's like, you're not feeding me fast enough, sissy. I love sweet potatoes and you're not giving them to me fast enough. <laughs> so cute. Yes, the dirty ones on the left. Yep. I know there's nothing in there right now, but yes. So anyway, besides that, I just told her pediatrician, you know, like the number of coronavirus cases here in San Antonio, and I'm sure most of the nation has spiked considerably, um, which is a repercussion of Memorial Day. And then now with like all the protesting and stuff and people gathering, it's definitely spiked everything. And so I told her, I'm just like trying to get an MD's perspective you know, like, what would you suggest? And and she said pretty much just keep doing what we're doing, like masking everyone if we go anywhere, no out public, don't take them out into the public if we can help it, um, just wash your hands, you know, that type of stuff. So it's it stinks because Texas as a whole is, is definitely, I mean, we're headed into phase three already and some, some states aren't even into phase two, they're barely getting into phase one and so I feel like, yes, uh -huh. yes, same thing as you do with the grilled cheese, you're gonna do that. Um, so it's just crazy to me that we were kind of like headed towards a little bit of an upswing and then everything kind of happened with the holiday and uh, Texas especially, I felt like people were at beaches and lakes and rivers and all kinds of stuff partying it up and now unfortunately the hospitals and doctor's office and stuff are seeing repercussions of that and so i'm like gosh man she even i i told her i was like what do you think about school starting she's like honestly i don't i can't foresee school starting very safely and i'm just i'm trying not to think about it too too much because there's really nothing i can do about it besides just keep my family safe keep us only around people we know where they've been, they've been still continuing to self quarantine and stuff like that. And that's just what we're doing. I mean, we've extended our hanging out to family. Like the girls have seen my mom and Nin and um, we've seen my brother. My brother actually got tested for COVID and tested negative. So I don't, I mean, gosh, you guys, like, I just don't know. I'm curious. I haven't asked this in a few weeks. What is it like in your area? Are you starting to open up? Are you seeing an increase of cases? what's going on around the world. You know, I feel like it's easy for me to stay up to date with Bear County, San Antonio, Texas, but other states is kind of hard, so I'm curious where you guys are at. This poor little girl's had a rough night. It's been rough for all of us. <laughs> I tried to do my household duties by watering the grass and instead ended up ripping up all the flowers from the flower bed because the hose was dragging across them that was fun um, it's after midnight and she has been up since like 9 45 try to give her another bit another bottle try to rock her to sleep she's just not having it she's sore in pain I'm not sure what so I'll try to put her back down to sleep about 11 45 11 30 she just screams, 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 poor baby. And I have a super bad headache. I'm just like, I can't shake the headache. I don't know what it was. I even ate a little bit more today thinking maybe it was like, I don't know, not enough carbs or something, but I felt like I was eating the right amount of stuff, but I don't know. So I ate a little bit more and I just cannot shake it. I can't, I don't know. It's turning into like a migraine. I can feel like my eye hurting and the light sensitivity coming and yes pretty cool so we're in our chair just sitting here surrounded by pillows like the good old days when she was itty bitty and if I could prop this baby up I would just sleep in her right here because I am tired <laughs> now that I have to work early tomorrow it's just been kind of a rough night all the way around oh mama Poor baby, you gotta feel sorry for babies. They can't even tell you what's wrong with them. 
like why she's not you know she can't just tell me her legs hurt so anyway I know today's I know baby just go to night just go to night baby girl I know today's vlog was super short um normally I'm like totally cool handy handling anything like this but man when you're like you hear that screeching sound where you're like oh my god and your head's hurting um yeah I just oh I am oh my gosh I don't know what it is I really I really have not changed anything in my diet for me to be suffering like this it's not my time of the month or anything that would trigger that um my vision I need to go get checked maybe that's what it is but it just happens every so frequently um dehydration I feel like I've been drinking enough water I'm trying to think what else it could be I don't know so anyway me and my little munchkin are just gonna chill out here see if we can get her to feel a little bit better and go to sleep and hopefully she sleeps through the rest of the night or my headache goes away <laughs> One of the two. Because at this point, that's what we need, huh, baby girl? So, I'm going to call it a vlog. Like I said, I'm really sorry. Today's vlog was super short. It just, when that, I was like, oh, let's go for a walk. Okay, I'm going to water the grass for daddy so he doesn't have to do it. I told the girls so that he doesn't have to do it when he gets home. Total fail. I watered half the grass. Ripped up the whole garden in the front. I felt so bad. So, anyway, I'm going to call it a vlog. We'll see you tomorrow. Uh -oh.